Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over the importance of establishing your page structure. So in a previous video, I was just going over some of the key elements for establishing your structure using sectioning tags, including things like a header, nav, article, um, asides, and actual section tags. And don't forget footer as well. So you've got these key elements. And every page you make may not have all of these elements, but they're certainly going to have some of them, and maybe even most of them. Let's jump for a quick second. I've got another, and by the way, this is how the page looks without any styling out there on the web. So main header, heading one with a nav. Then here's the article start with a heading two, or headline two. Um, here's a here's an article over at the Fox News, and I've zoomed out. I'll zoom out a little bit more because I don't want you to focus so much on the content, but I want you to look at how this page is structured. For instance, we could imagine up here across the top. This is likely Fox News website's uh, main header. You know, they've got their branding, they've got their site search, they've got their main site nav in there. So that's probably the same on every single page within the site. And then beneath that, we have our article. Now, this article might have its own nav. You can actually have a second set of nav tags within an article, its own headline too. This could be a figure, or it could be a section within the article. You can. There's a number of different solutions to these. Then we have multiple paragraphs that make this up. There's content off to the side, related stories. You should easily be able to imagine that as an aside. Okay, so this could be an aside element. Same thing over here, trending and signs. That could be an aside also. Down here at the bottom, we could have some sections also on the web, more from Fox News and so forth. And then all the way down here at the bottom, we've got footers. You can have a footer within the article, just like you can have a header within the article. And then you can have a footer for the web page. So this is a it's a nice clean example of the various parts and to even visualize these a little bit better I'll use this uh, add on this uh, wireFi it'll uh, convert the page here in just a sec There we go and this kind of takes away some of the content but we can still see the overall layout of this page or the wireframe for it. So now we can kind of see, all right, so it kind of gets rid of all the clutter of real text. We can see document header or page header. Then we can see our article header with graphic or video, text content, where sites might be, all the way down to footer content. So it's important that you establish your structure first though. Don't worry about look and style. You might have you know, sketched out how you want your finished web page to look. But content is important, and all of your content is going to be written on the HTML file um, without worry about colors and fonts and, uh, and even overall layout. So content first. Once your content is up there, then you can start working on the styling. And for style, we want to keep that separate from the content. Okay, and that's going to make your life a lot easier. For instance, there's a chance, I mean, we could do this. I could go in here and do, this is old and outdated, so don't type this at all. Um, a line equals center for my headline one. Let me jump over to my browser, refresh, and you'll see that that is now centered. And you might be thinking, great, that's exactly what I wanted. But I'm going to discourage you from doing that because what I've just done is I've mixed style in with the content. I've made them, you know, married together. We want to keep those things separate. You may want that text centered, and it's certainly easy enough to do, but we want to keep our structure separate from our style. So, in the next series of videos, we need to start looking at how we can style these things. And the first way I'll, I'll encourage you to do so is with an external style sheet, which is going to require, in our head section, we create a link. It's going to be related to a style sheet. And this is, this is not the same as a hyperlink. This is a link tag. And I'm going to reference um, something in a styles folder. And I'll go ahead and call this 
structure.css. Now I haven't created this file yet, I will in just a second, but I want to control the look of this web page with an external CSS or stylesheet file. 